Speaking of questions, we know a lot of folks have the questions about national security and data protection when it comes to apps like TikTok, you know, that ban in the news got a lot of us thinking, what does this really mean for our safety when we're using apps and downloading things on our phone? We sent News 3 reporter Gabrielle Harmon to the experts for some answers. With the TikTok ban now at a hold, a new question looms for many. How to protect your data? I'm Gabrielle Harmon, and I spoke to a cybersecurity expert who posed a new question to your safety. Why do we keep having the same conversation? I don't want to minimize that question. We need to answer that question. But on a deeper level, we have to understand that people, there's a lot of people that don't care to answer the question. They just want to do what they want to do. Lynn Gonzalez is a cyber investigator here in Virginia Beach. I see the cyber world, the digital domain from a completely different lens. I see the repetitiveness. With the recent uproar of TikTok and its concern for national security, more people have migrated to download the alternative, Red Note. Now we've got to really consider the, the, the irony, I guess, that when uh, 170 million essentially Americans were told that TikTok was going to go away. Where's the first place they migrated to? To another Chinese app. I did reach out to several TikTok users, some sharing that they did download the Red Note app, and a few of them even saying they downloaded it to tell the government they won't be controlled. Again, we talk about securing our data, but then we go directly to the place where our data is most likely to be taken. So we want people to be informed. You know, we do not regulate people's behavior. Delegate Benita Anthony represents parts of Norfolk and South Norfolk. She is the subcommittee chair for online and data protection. She's currently working on HB 2268, which would bring experts together to help the attorney general's office in overseeing and enforcing laws when it comes to cybersecurity, data privacy, AI, and other emerging tech. I just want to make sure there is compliance um, and there's protection for folks. Um, because, you know, technology, you know, and the emerging technology is a part of our way of life. For Gonzalez, he says when downloading apps to look at the permission, really consider what kind of access you're giving on your devices that you can enable or disable any part of the app. The fact of the matter is, I believe that people are going to choose to do it rather than not to do it because they want full functionality of the app or, or any other thing that, that, it, that they're, they're trying to work on. Gabrielle Harmon, News 3.